Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to create a puzzle game, or rather on how to cut the pieces in a quick and efficient manner. I'm going to be using Paint.net for this tutorial, but any program with a WAN tool will do. But first things first, take your picture and add it and crop it until it looks how you want your final motive to look. Then get yourself some grids. You can draw them, can erase them with GIMP or get them off the internet. In the description I'll include the link to my free Jigsaw Puzzle Grids project on Scratch. To use one of them, see inside the project, go to the Costumes tab, right click the one you want to use and select Save to Local File. Once you have it saved, open Paint.net, open the grid and change it to the size you want. Then copy it and paste it in a layer above your picture. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to put a second grid above it, which is easier to see. However, it has no relevance to the game at all and it's simply for this tutorial. If you have a look at the layers, it should look like this. At the very lowest layer is your picture and above that is your grid. And for me, that's also the second grid, but you won't need that for your game. Now that you're ready preparing the puzzle, create a new picture with the same size as your puzzle. Create a new and completely empty layer and copy it. Now create a new picture with the same size again and insert your empty layer right into it. This empty layer should now cancel out the white background and it should simply be an empty image. We're going to repeat this process, create a new image, paste it in and have it empty nine times because we're going to have nine pieces for our puzzle. Instead of pasting out the picture, you could also always delete the background, but I personally find this method easier to do, especially if you use keyboard shortcuts. Now we go back to our puzzle picture and we move to the layer with the grid on it. We select the WAN tool and then use it to select the uppermost puzzle piece. Now we go one layer below to the picture and we have the piece still selected when we go to this layer and we're going to cut it out with a keyboard shortcut. If you're on a Windows computer, it's going to be Ctrl and X. And if you're on Mac, it should be Command and X. If you've done it right, there should be a hole where the puzzle piece used to be. Now, move to one of the empty images we created previously and paste in your puzzle piece. To do so, use your keyboard and press either Ctrl and V or Command and V. One important thing to look out for is that inside the editor, the background appears checkered and not white. Outside of the editor, it can be white or black or whatever, that depends on your computer. But inside the editor, the background should be checkered like on the left. The background being checkered means that it's actually transparent, which is going to be very important if you're going to use these images and turn them into a game. Now, go back to the image with your puzzle on it. Move to the layer with a true grid, select the WAN tool, select the piece, move to the layer below and cut it out. We're going to repeat this process for all of the puzzle pieces. Once you're done, you can hide your true grid and also the fake lines for this tutorial and we'll see that where the grid used to be is now a grid in the color of your picture. It can be a very useful tool for later design decisions, so I'd advise you to save it. For example, if this were your background, you could add the grid to it to make it easier to play. Granted, there are only nine pieces in this game, but if you make a really big puzzle, it could be useful. And that's it. If you're interested in a coding tutorial, feel free to comment. However, in the meantime, you can check out my puzzle games on Scratch and see inside to see all the scripts. They're all available, shared under the Creative Commons license, so feel free to use them as long as you credit me. Also, if you're going to use this tutorial, I'd appreciate a bit of credit too. So yeah, I hope this tutorial was useful and fun. And if yes, feel free to subscribe. And if not, then don't. Bye.